Hello and welcome back. Hey yo, eight. T'other night was eating me tea in front of the telly. Hold on, hold on. Let me translate. Are you all right? The other evening, whilst I was enjoying my evening meal in front of the television set, <laughs> that's a translation, I seen this advert. Barry Scott, sell it bang. And the lime scale's gone. Well, on the advert, he had a rusty key. And he dipped the rusty key into the Silic Bang. And blow me, it only come out shiny. So this is... Bang! And the rusty's gone. Let's test the theory. Safety glasses for this one, children. Because we're dealing with... Formic Acid and sul sulfmatic acid I think that's how I pronounce it and that sulfmatic acid is just slightly milder than sulfuric that's some powerful stuff anyway we need a test piece this will do one of these I'll leave one out and put one in and we'll see the difference before and after so we'll call this the control axe that's a strange thing to say isn't it that's the control axe and this is the one that's going to get it. Oh, I've just been drawing on it for a project. Don't worry about that. I'd say it's pretty rusty. That's a bit of luck. It fits. There we go. Oh, it's exciting. Will we have enough to cover the axe? Just about. Right, I'll leave that to it. I'll check this every half hour. And that's that. Well, we're now 30 minutes into the test. And as you can see, the colour of the liquid has changed from a clear to a yellowy colour. You can also see lots and lots of little bubbles. Hydrogen bubbles, no less. Right. I'm going to leave it for another half an hour. Then we're going to pull out, dip it into a water tank to neutralise the acid. I'm going to see if I can rub any surface rust off and put it back in. And that will give the acid a better chance of attacking the metal underneath again. And I think we'll keep doing that until it's clean. Well, that's an hour. So into the bucket of water. I'm trying to do this as scientifically as I can. Well, as scientifically as you can for me. See what crud we can get off. Well, seems to be working. Let's uh, look at the control axe. Look a bit better, so it's back in for an hour. There we go. Come back to that an hour. Well I'm back. It's three hours in now and the 
Axe face seems to have gone a white colour in the liquid. Let's pull it out, let's have a look. Put the water. Look at that, shiny metal. So the rust is nearly gone. I think what we'll do, I think we'll pop it in overnight. So it's like in the morning. So look at the control axe comparison. Much better. Right, let's pop her in overnight. I'm going to bed. The axe head has now been in the Silic Bang solution for 24 hours because I left it overnight and they also went to work. So I've just come back now to investigate. Right. I'll just wash this in water, it's dripping everywhere. Right, that seems to have gone yellow for some reason. That's much cleaner. You see the original there. Let's get the control axe. I'm not quite sure if this is some kind of phosphate coating. I might just have to rub it off. Bear with me a minute. Well, I've dried the axe head off. And I think there is some kind of phosphate coating on there that is stopping the reaction from carrying on. It looks clean. It's quite, quite a nice finish actually. There's possibilities though. Uh, just going to quick sanding. See the steel coming through now. So, I think that's turned out quite well. If I take the phosphate coating off, chances are it'll carry on. As a comparison, I've just been rubbing down the control axe. For five minutes now, and as you can see, it's not really cleaning it that well. As a port to that, which I'll just give a quick rub down. So there you go, see it bang, bang, and three quarters of the rust is gone. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. I think I'll leave it in for another hour or so, but you get the idea. I've left the axe in for an extra two hours after cleaning off the grey phosphate stroke oxide coating. It looks like the rust has been converted somehow by the acid, because there's not much rust in the clear liquid that I can tell. Uh, and I've been working with this stuff for about 24 hours now and there don't seem to be any obvious side effects so that's okay. Let's have a quick look how we're getting on. Let's just wash that. I'd say that's bang and the rust is gone. Let's just see if there's any more that caught in on. Dry it off. 
And there you go. I'm quite happy with that. So it's just a household cleaner. Very happy indeed. We're doing a few more experiments because like any good idea, I'm going to milk it to death. Uh, I'm going to try it with brass and then I'm going to try it with electrolysis. Let's have a quick look at the control X. You can see that, it's focused. So there you go. And they both have the same amount of rubbing. I rubbed this one for about five minutes. And I rubbed this one for five minutes. It had to be in solution. So I'm happy with that. So thanks for viewing. And that was bang. And the rust is gone. <sighs> Oh, busted. Only enough paint to go up to my forearm. <laughs> Thanks if you're in the coming again. <sighs>